Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I have a special trick for you where I'm going to show you how to automatically import live data from Google Sheets into Excel with the click of a button. This is not gonna be a copy and paste trick. This is gonna be live data that you can store in Google Sheets. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about, if you can see here, I have a sheet here with different data on it from Google Sheets. And if I enter, a new athlete name and bench press. Let's add a 9,000 bench press and I go over to my Excel sheet. I'm going to be able to click the refresh data button and that athlete that I just entered, their data is gonna pop into my Excel sheet right away. This is gonna be really powerful if we're doing some monitoring dashboards or different data upkeep projects where we might need to have live data in the cloud, but we wanna pull it into our Excel spreadsheets for analyzation. So let's get after it. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing is just a quick reminder that if these videos are helping you out, um, please like and subscribe to the channel and also share it to social media because that really helps me out and helps me continue to be able to develop this content to help coaches um, all around the world. So with that out of the way, let's get into today's trick. Um, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna be switching back and forth between a Google Sheet and an Excel Sheet, so you'll need to have one of each set up. So let's go to the Google Sheet first, and right here you can see I have um, a little bit of a table created that has athlete name, um, a test and then just some random values in there for the score for that test and we're gonna just make our own here because I want to show you how to pull in multiple tables out of the same sheet so the first thing um, I've just created a tab down here that says monitoring data so we'll just start to create this from scratch so maybe I put in athlete name and maybe date and stress 1 to 5 uh, mood 1 to 5 sleep one to five and let's say soreness one to five and then the cool thing about Google Sheets is actually if I don't need any of these cells I can delete them and they don't actually show up so I'm gonna do that now and all I need to do is hit control and sorry all I need to do is hit control shift and if I go all the way to the end it's gonna select all of the columns so I'll just show you how to do that one more time so if I select G it's going to select the whole column of G. If I hold Control Shift, go all the way to the end, it's going to select all of the columns. Then I can right click there and actually go down to Delete. And they're going to just go away, which is kind of cool because um, Google Sheets offers you a lot of freedom to actually be able to make your sheets look exactly how you want. So then for me, what I like to do is I just like to take the top and I'm going to make that black and then just make the um, the values white and that just helps them show up and maybe I'll just bold that control B and it just makes it look a little better and I'll put those kind of in the middle there so let's create some random data um, we'll just I'm gonna only create one set of monitoring data so we'll just take athlete one athlete two athlete three um, I'm gonna drag that down and create a few more athletes and just like Excel, Google's pretty smart, so if you highlight some cells with numbers in them and then continue to drag it down, it's gonna know kind of what you're looking for. Um, and we'll just take today's date, so 5, 23, 2020, and I'm gonna Control C and copy that. I'm gonna select all these cells, right click, and paste values. Oh, so that pasted it as a number. I'm actually gonna paste it as a date, so maybe I'll just Control V, and that'll paste it as a date, so that's good. And then I'm gonna use a random function here. So I'm just gonna hit equals rand between. And then I open those brackets up. It's gonna ask me what my low value is and what my high value is. So we know what those are. So the low value is gonna be one and the high value is gonna be five. And then if I close that off, hit okay, and it's gonna give me a value of three. But because it's actually a formula, it's gonna change every time I do a calculation. So I'm just gonna paste this in all of these cells, control V and it'll just put a random value in there everywhere. But I want these to stay the same. I don't want them to change. So if I just go back over top of these and control C copy them and then right click paste and put paste values only, instead of a random formula now, it's gonna just give me 
um, the numbers. So that's just a quick way to create some dummy monitoring data if you want to start to look at some of your formulas and see how they work. And then for these, I'm just going to center them because I think it looks a little bit better. So there you go. We have two um, sheets of data here. We have monitoring data and then over here we have the strength data that I collected before. And I did the same thing there. I just put a value of um, the low value of 100 and a high value of about 500 on there just to create some um, different testing values that we had to play around with here. So what I want to be able to do is I'm just um, alt tabbing to switch between these two sheets here. I want to be able to pull that data from the Google Sheet into this Excel sheet um, automatically. So every time I update the Google Sheet, I want it to update the Excel sheet because um, Google Sheets and Excel or uh, Google Sheets is a very good platform for housing data. So um, it allows you to use Google Forms. It allows you to work in the cloud. It allows a lot of people to contribute to the same sheet. Um, it's a very good platform for housing data and it's actually getting better all the time, but it doesn't do visualizations or analysis quite as well as Excel yet. So for a lot of the visualizations and different um, formatting and stuff, I still prefer Excel, but I prefer to house a lot of my data in Google Sheets and that allows me to um, work on it with multiple interns or have multi multiple people working on the same data and then I'll have one sheet that actually lives on my computer or sorry, one Excel file that lives on my computer where I actually do all the analysis. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first, if I go back to the Google Sheet and I go down to the file tab or over to the file tab here, there's going to be an option down here called publish to web. And if I click there, it's going to give me a little dialog box here and it's going to ask me what I want to publish. For me, I want both tabs. So I'm going to put entire document, but if we only wanted one tab, you have the ability to um, select that and check between them for which one you want. So I'm going to pick um, entire document and here's the kicker is I actually want to publish to web as a Microsoft Excel file. I can use comma separated values if I'm pulling it into other programs or tab separated. But when I'm using a Microsoft Excel file, um, Excel is pretty good. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually find out these tabs and turn them into tables in Excel. So after I've selected Microsoft Excel, I'm going to hit publish. And it's going to ask me, are you sure? And I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to give me this big, long formula here. And if I go through it, you'll see what it kind of looks like. And you'll know it's a Microsoft Excel file because at the end it says output equals XLSX. And that's um, the extension for a Microsoft Excel file. So again, I'm just going to copy this, Control C. And I'm going to go back to my actual Excel file here. So if I tab over now, on the Excel file, there's going to be a tab along the top here called get data or sorry, called data. And then I want to go over to the left here to where it says get data and I can come down to from other sources and I'm going to go from web. Click there and it's going to open a box that looks kind of like this. And this is a box where I can put in different URLs and I can actually take data. So you might want to take data off sports websites or, um, different servers where you might be housing data, but we can pull that all into Excel. So for us, we're having all of our data stored in that Google sheet that we created. So I'm going to post the, or uh, paste the URL in there and hit okay. And what it's going to give me the option is you're going to see that it's going to give me the two um, sheets or sorry, the two pieces of data that we just created. So I got the one, um, tab for monitoring data and I got the one for strength data. So let's do the strength data first. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to select this and down here I could just hit load. And what that'll do is it'll create a new kind of tab at the bottom and it will put that data in there. But instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the arrow and hit load two, and then it'll bring up a bit of a dialog box here. And I want to load it as a table. Okay. For me in this case, and I actually want to put it in an existing worksheet because what I like to do is have one sheet where I house all my data. Um, so I don't have like tons of multiple tabs along the bottom here. So I'm going to put existing worksheet and then just like we would do in other formula of bars in Excel, I can create, I can click this arrow icon and actually click where I want it to go. So I'm going to put it in a three and hit 
OK. And then I'm going to hit OK here. And what it's going to do is you can see it's loading. And it's just turned this into a table. And it's loaded all of my data in there. OK. So that's one way to get the data in there. And we're going to do the same thing now with the other data. So I'm going to go to get data from other sources, from web. I'm going to paste that back in there. Hit OK. It's going to look at it. And this time I'm going to grab the monitoring data and load to. And let's put it, let's put it just over a couple of cells. And we'll stick it right there. And I'll hit OK. And now it's pulled in all of our monitoring data. Okay. So these are now live data sets. And anytime I update them on Google Sheets, I'll actually be able to come back and update them on um, on Excel. So let's try that out and make sure that that's working. So I'll go back over to my sheet over here. I can close this off now and let's put in a new athlete here. So let's say athlete five and let's say they did a bench press and let's say it's something outrageous. They did a thousand pounds just so we know that that data is in there. And if you noticed up here, it says all changes saved in drive that went through saving and then it'll go to all changes saved. And once all changes are saved, generally within a few seconds after that, I should be able to go back to my actual sheet. And once I'm here, um, I should be able to just click on this table. And then if I go up to where it says table design here, what I can do is there's a refresh button there. And if I refresh that button, what you're gonna see is it's gonna add athlete five, the bench press and the 1000 bench press into our actual table. And if we were to do that again, let's put athlete six in there. Maybe athlete six bench 2000 pounds. And what you'll see is it goes saving and then all changes saved in drive. So what you'll see is I'm actually able to come over to um, the data file here. And then when I go up to table design, I should be able to hit refresh. And you can see athlete six bench press 2000 pops into our chart. So that's pretty cool. Um, then just a couple other things that you might want to know is when you're actually in your when you're actually in this data You can go into data and you can open the queries and connections on the right side and we can right click here and go to properties and you can actually um, Select you want it to refresh every 60 minutes. You want to refresh the data when opening the file um, Etc. So there's a lot of different options. We can play around with there and hit ok um, and then if we go to the table here, what we can do is under table design, um, there should be a properties. And what you can do is if the number of rows data changes upon refresh, insert cells for new data, delete unused cells, um, insert entire rows for new data, clear unused cells. So there's a lot of different options you can play around with in here. Um, and then you can adjust the column width. Um, so what that might do is if I leave this unclicked, um, every time I refresh the data, it's not going to change the width of the actual columns. So there's a quick way to get data from um, Google Sheets into your Excel document. Um, I hope this trick helps you out. And in the future, if you want to see more tricks like this, let me know in the comments below. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you could like and share this video on social media, that would really help me out a lot. Thank you.